let's transition over to the penguin. Brian, you haven't seen the the latest episode, right? No, yeah, I'm through three episodes, I guess it is. Yeah. I keep seeing headlines. Penguin, perhaps the best comic book movie, perhaps the best series, period. Forget about comic book movie. Yeah. The best series, Brian. I find it hard to believe, Brian, that when it comes Emmy time, that they don't sweep almost every category, Brian. Ooh, okay. That's 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 a bold claim. Okay. This Brian, this show is top notch from all angles, Brian. I would agree. And the way they transition the Batman and this show, you feel like this is a continuation of of that. Although I have my gripes, but you, but you go ahead and talk. I had one in that category. I think I texted you when it happened. I kind of was like, oh, I had my first scene in this show where I kind of was like, uh, I didn't love the execution. Uh -huh. But I really, I said, I'm, I haven't done the latest episode, but I'm really enjoying the characters. Um, Farrell is on one in this. Like, I, I know he doesn't like wearing the makeup, but... I mean, I can make a case he was born to play this role more than <laughs> any other role that he's had. Yeah. And I, I love how he oscillates between terrifying and sympathetic, where he's kind of mentoring Vic and then threatening to put him in the grave. The net. Like, I love that interplay with himself that he almost seems to have. Yeah. Um, I, one of my favorite scenes so far was the quasi spy craft in the mansion around the informant mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that to me was brilliant because it was like he's playing cat and mouse setting up um the other boss to kind of take the, the other guys to take the fall for his mm -hmm. covering his tracks with the murder yeah, yeah but it was like watching jason Bourne or james <laughs> bond like right like and this big waddling guy who's like snaking around corners and like dodging in and out of rooms and like <laughs> i'm just watching this and i'm like but it's brilliant because it's completely contained it's all bad guys it's the kind of thing that batman would never pay attention to right this yeah. is the kind of action set piece that would not draw the attention of the cape crusader it's just happening behind closed doors and he's pulling the puppet strings and now he's got the allegiance with uh Sophia that he wanted. Yeah. That to me was a masterclass like sequence to end that episode. I thought it was mm -hmm. absolutely brilliant. I did not love the car chase. I got to be honest. That was the one scene where I was like it's kind of a coin flip if Batman would swoop in to something like this cuz they left like a flaming wreck and a huge yeah. like trail from that yeah, where yeah. I was like yeah. mm, mm. It's I was like, he, he's got to notice. Like, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, the signal's yeah. got to be up in the air. Like, somebody's got to be letting him know there's something going down here. So that was the one scene where I kind of was like, you guys are getting a little big time with your uh, with your crime. I got to rewatch that to hope. I'm going to see if I pause any moments of the when they're looking in the sky to see. Because you never know, right? An Easter egg that this, there's, a, there's a Batman light up in the sky. Who knows? That's what I mean, though. They should, to me, they should have used that in that scene because then it would have been like, it would have increased the time urgency. Yeah. Like you remember, like in the opening scene of Heat, where they're with the truck, they rob the truck, and like the second mm -hmm. they start the crime, they're like, response time is three minutes. So like yeah, you and yeah, the yeah. audience are like, oh man, these guys got to do all this before the cops get here, right? Yeah. And they yeah. put that up in the sky, and one guy looks up and you see it. You immediately know this thing's got to happen in like sixty seconds. Yeah, yeah. Boy, so I thought they missed that a little bit there. That was one. But you know what's the other missed opportunity, Brian? Is the mentions of other deterrents and other barriers that happened in the first film, but yet no mention of the crazed lunatic dressed in a bat uh, outfit beating up you know, criminals in, in the middle of the night, right? There's just no mention of him. And I would think that he would be a problem so, of, of sorts. Uh, or not, not necessarily a problem, but just a mention of someone out there, right? I don't know. I just find, I just find that a little bit like they're ignoring that aspect. They've, they've, they've acknowledged the Riddler. But none of the none of the individuals 
in the criminal world have mentioned them, which is weird to me. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. They're keeping like, there's definitely some obvious names they could be going to or that they're kind of maybe, I mean, maybe they're coming, maybe they're cautious about doing it, but that's fair. I think that's a fair critique. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, generally I'm, I'm happy with all the performances. I love Sophia's portrayal. I, I could see more she Maroney anytime they want to. Yeah. Awesome. And Kristen Milliati is just killing it in this. Show. <clears throat> and I would say also the, her and Oz talking and their dialogue is always very interesting. Oh yeah. This is always a very interesting conversation when they talk. Well, I can't they, wait to find out when she finds out that he offed her brother. Like that, that, I can't wait for that moment, the way this is going and the way this has been set up. You got to see this next episode. I almost spoiled it for you, but you got to see okay. this next episode. So, um, but yeah, let us know what you guys think so far of the, of the Penguin. And it um, continues to be a big hit, by the way. The audience continues to grow for this uh, week to week. I'm telling so you. People are on it. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is like almost it's prime time. The fact that they're releasing it on Sunday on the days that, you know, if Game of Thrones is on, it would be just Game of Thrones. Or it would, or it would be Sopranos or something. This is the penguin, y'all. Yeah. And everybody's showing up to watch something on Sunday night and this is it. 